Sutton necklace. I love the little bit of bling with like something, an outfit like this. So camo shirt. It's just like the one, um, my 16 candles one. Uh, it's just like that. I bought it probably about a week later or so, a couple weeks later after that one. Um, J. Crew shirt, artisan stretch bracelets. Uh, these are the leggings from Costco. And I like because the t-shirt and this kind of cover your bum just enough. Um, Nike shoes. I don't know. I like outfits like this that are kind of like, I don't know, different. And then add, um, you know, you could put on black boots or whatever you wanted <laughs> with this. I'll link everything below to make that easier. Uh, thought I would mention I'm making some uh, white bean chicken chili. And... Oddly enough, I didn't have cumin, so I'm already going to the grocery, so I'll pick some up there and just throw it in. I always have cumin and chili powder, but I obviously did not. So anyway, um, I talked about this in my latest grocery haul as well, and the recipe was linked there, but I'll also try to link it in this video too. And thank you guys so much for all the nice comments on my last one. I know it had been quite a while since I had done one before that. Um, I'm heading out today. It's actually my husband's birthday, so I'm gonna get him a cake and I have uh, White bean chicken chili in the crock pot asked him if he wanted to go out or if he wanted um, That for dinner and he said he wanted that he's actually Been recovering from hernia surgery that he had a week ago Tuesday by the time you guys see this it may be like two weeks ago So he's been back to work this week. This is the first day I've had my car because he has a truck, like I mentioned before, like a big four-wheel drive truck, um, and he thought it might be a little hard getting in and out of it, so he's been taking my car. Of course, that made me really wish I had another car <laughs> to drive because, not that I can't drive his truck, but there's no way I could pull it in or out of the garage because he's, we have a three-car garage, and he's in the um, third space, which is kind of, you know, separate door on its own. And I mean, he barely fits in there. He has to take the trailer hitch off the back and he has like these boxes in front of it that he pulls up to so he knows. I mean, it's seriously, <laughs> so there's no way that I would even attempt to pull that truck in or out. Um, so anyway, he's had my car. So today's my first day out this week, um, you know, running errands and such. So I'm headed to the post office. I need to check my P.O. box and drop off a return. Speaking of returns, I should probably update before I forget. I think it was in the Sephora Friends and Family sale that I bought that Murad Collagen Booster or something. I returned that like right away. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Um, I was just looking for more of like a serum and it was a thicker consistency or something than I wanted and I hadn't seen it in store to try it out prior to that because I can't always get a sample of things because we have a really small um, Sephora and then our Sephora inside JCPenney is small so I don't always have the opportunity to sample something before I purchase it unfortunately but of course for those of us that are Rouge members, we spend enough there that once in a while I can return something because I just ended up ordering, you know, several hundred dollars worth of stuff through the VIB sale. So anyway, I did return that. Um, again, it just wasn't what I was expecting. I did film um, today, you'll see it again. It'll already be up by the time you see this video. The It Cosmetic CC Cream for you guys. Um, you know, so many of you on one of my previous videos had asked me for my tips and stuff of how I make it work. So I did film that and you'll see that before now. If you haven't, I will link it below. As of today, we are a week out from Thanksgiving. I can't believe it's almost Thanksgiving. I don't know about you guys, but I think I've told like my husband and my mom and I were talking about this. I feel like it's still October to me. Like, that's to me in my mind, like I'm looking at the trees turn color and stuff, and I just, I don't know, to me, it's not, time's going by too fast. I'm not ready for the holidays at all. I don't even think I'm gonna decorate this year since we're going to my mom and dad's in Florida. Um, and plus that with my husband then having surgery, all of our stuff is in the attic. Now, he'll have his three week post-op appointment, which he should be cleared by then, like the first week in December. But 
you know, I don't, I st he still shouldn't be like carrying anything heavy and all of our stuff's in the attic. I don't mind getting up there and I have before, but the stairs to the attic are really steep. And of course they're out in our garage. So it's not easy to get to. That's when I miss, I wish we had a basement or like a two story house with a walkout attic. So it's kind of a pain to get everything down and the boxes are really heavy. What he normally does is stand at the top of the stairs put the box like on the stairs and I'll come halfway up and like pull it down. Well, I don't want him doing any of that. I'm like very overprotective. Um, you know, and I'm sure he'll be fine. And if we wanted to get small stuff out, he'd be fine. And as some of you remember last year, we bought the smaller Christmas tree cause I just had enough of putting that nine foot tree up. Cause I mean, it's so big around is what's ridiculous about it. And it's so freaking heavy. So I bought just a regular size and I have, it's ridiculous. I probably have a good four or five Christmas trees I could choose from between like a white one, a red one, a, like a little red one, a small four foot one that I usually put in the dining room. But anyway, I just don't feel like decorating at all. I don't know if we'll decorate outside, but I don't know. Do you guys feel that way? If you travel at Christmas, do you not feel like decorating? I know for me, I feel like decorating when people are coming to the house. Like last year we went on the cruise right before, um, the week before Christmas and then my mom and dad came. So I like decorating when I know people are coming. I don't know. It's, it's a mix between we're traveling and I just am not in the mood for Christmas. I'm not ready. Like it's coming too quick. I don't even feel like I'm ready for Thanksgiving and I love Thanksgiving. It's one of my favorites. It's definitely my husband's favorite. He absolutely loves Thanksgiving. So we're just doing Thanksgiving at um, our house. Nobody's coming. His mom and dad, uh, his uncle was going to his mom and dad's. Um, my mom's still, you know, recovering from her surgery, so they weren't going to travel. Um, so it'll just be us, which is fine. I make dinner whether anybody comes or not. So I'll show you uh, the birthday cake when I get out. But. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm all about the cake on my birthday. It's not a birthday unless you have cake. About like weddings too. You gotta have cake at a wedding. But I like, you know, plain white cake, regular buttercream icing, no like chocolate stuff, anything. To me, that's not a birthday cake, you know? Um, so anyway, and my husband actually likes ice cream cakes a lot, but we, since we already have ice cream at home, uh, I thought I would just get a regular cake. And what's funny is my mom's birthday was actually yesterday. Their birthdays, you know, were real close to each other. So I talked to her yesterday, sent her some flowers, and I sent her um, a nightgown because I had sent her one for Mother's Day that she absolutely loved. She said it was like the best nightgown she'd ever had. So I just sent her... Um, it's one by the same brand, just in a different pattern. And I'll actually link that below because it had really great reviews. I bought it on QVC. And I just knew from the reviews and the descriptions that it would be something I knew my mom would like. For, so for those of you that like nightgowns, or maybe you're in the market of buying something for like your mom or your mother-in-law for Christmas, this one is fantastic. I mean, my mom's picky about her nightgown, as most of you probably are if you wear them. I don't wear them. And she just loves it. So she would wash her other one and then just put it on again, you know, that same day. So we just laughed, you know, I said, now you have one you can switch out. And they come, you know, in really cute little floral patterns. But again, that um, brand, and I can't remember the brand right now, it got really great reviews. And um, it sounds like, that whole line people like it a lot so but this particular one I'll let you know oh I want you guys to know I don't think I've had a diet coke since that last vlog and I told you that would happen I'll, I get on those kicks and what I do is I think I make myself sick of them I'll have one like every day I think I had one the day of or the day probably the day after my husband's surgery like I said that's been a week and a few days now I had went and picked us up whatever he wanted to eat and I got a, a salad and a Diet Coke and I don't think I've had one since because the thought of it now is like ugh. and that's exactly how I go with Diet Coke I'll crave them have them constantly and it won't it'll be months and I you know won't have another one so that's good that I don't drink them all the time I'm that way with a lot of things though I don't know about you guys but 
I get on kicks with things like ice cream. I probably, even though we buy it all the time, because we like to have it in the house in case we want it, we're that type. I don't, some people can't have things in the house or they'll just eat it all. I'm the kind of person I need it around. So if I possibly want it, it's there. Cause that'll just make me crave it more if it, I don't have it. We probably have it like once a week at most, maybe twice a week, but it's the same thing with ice cream. I'll get on a kick where it just sounds really good and then I won't want it for months. I don't know, I'm just like that with a lot of things. Okay, so I'm back from the grocery as you can see. Um, I got a cake and I went to Publix if I didn't mention that before. Publix um, is always great about having pre-made cakes whether they're the big square ones or the round ones. Only thing, I swear it's highway robbery for this cake an eight inch cake, it's $18.99, which is ridiculous, I feel like. I swear years and years ago, they used to be, well, I mean, not too long ago, but within the last five, 10 years, I swear they only used to be like 10 or $12. So anyway, tried to get one that wasn't too girly. Um, I didn't get anything written on it because honestly, he doesn't care about that stuff, but it is a big major birthday for him. So I wanted to get a cake. Um, and again, it's not a birthday unless you have cake. So anyway, I've got my backup of normal salads here and I'll probably have this for lunch. So I got that. And then I also, um, this chicken breast salad is really good that they have in the deli. Sometimes I'll eat that with crackers or put it on a sandwich. And I've mentioned this many, many times. Their Southern style potato salad's good. We haven't had that in quite a while. I ended up getting, um, the pre-made chicken tenders, uh, just probably to add to a salad. My husband needed some plastic forks for work. Picked up the uh, cumin to put in the white chicken chili, some bananas, some lemons, and they had, um, these were on sale. They're organic um, pink lady apples, and I just thought they looked absolutely great. So, got some of those, and we were out of our favorite chips. So that is a little grocery haul for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Bye.